Hey, Redcon Raider here, and welcome back to Jagged Alliance 3. As today we do some quick cleanup around Bien Chen, then chat with our new friends. We have to do a follow-up with King Chicken. We uh, obviously have Pierre just over there. And uh, also, much to my surprise, it, it turns out that Elliot is here. I guess letting him go was a bit of a mixed blessing, but uh, at least he's still alive, question mark? So yeah, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll catch up with him, too. Major, les mercenaires have captured Camp Beyond Shem. They move fast, don't they? Huh. But why take Beyond Shem now? I wonder. Tell me about Pierre. What did they do with him? He was not on the casualty list. But Le Messinaire are ruthless. I'm sure they killed him after the battle. You're sure, huh? Well, that's a real comfort. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, the Major, uh, Spike, really does seem to have, like, a special vested interest in Pierre. Which is weird, considering the stuff he's putting him through. I mean, I would suggest it might be just be to uh, break Pierre's spirit. Yeah. Since obviously right. Pierre, you know, really bit on the whole revolution sure line Woody. that the major was selling, but but at the same time, Spike does seem he's to there, actually man. hold Pierre in mind. like legit higher regard than his own men, such as with the uh, boss Graf back at Diamond Red. Wow, four Dex mags. That's pretty fantastic. Those will uh, those will probably go to the old dogs, but I'll have to think on that a bit. Squat forward. I'll probably task them with taking Bien Chien Island here, plus maybe one of the other three or four we've got left. That'll give Charlie and Delta time to finish training up our militia. Where to? Let's move it, people! Understood. Here? You? Here? I've heard about your deeds, but I didn't expect you to come to this godforsaken place. I, uh, I... I feel compelled to admit that you are right, and I was wrong about the Legion. Yeah, I wouldn't really take it personally, Woodrow. From what we've seen out here, everyone's using everyone else. It, seriously, it goes like seven layers deep. You just got caught up on layer three or so. But if it makes you feel any better, we got caught up ourselves. Layer five, six. They pretty much played us all, wouldn't it? Yes, they did. How could I not see through all those hollow words and promises for a great future? I was so easy to fool. Ah, uh, don't beat yourself up over it. The way I hear it, we already did that for you. Speaking of which, uh, what happened to you anyway? You happened to me. Le Major does not tolerate failure, and I accepted my punishment. I deserved it. I don't think so. Only dictators throw their soldiers in prison for losing a battle. But in Diamond Red I saw. I saw how they treat our people in the name of the Legion. I learned of all the slavery and the abuse. I heard the stories and I saw what kind of people the Major favors. People like Slave Master Graf. Yeah, well, I wouldn't worry too much about that guy, Woodford. The way I hear it, he came down with a terminal case of lead poisoning. Yes, I heard that. And I'm glad you did. For some people, it is a real shame they can be killed only once. My only regret is I couldn't kill him myself. I tried. Yes, it's true. And I almost succeeded. That's why they moved me here. So I guess it's safe to say this whole Legion thing didn't play out the way you thought it would. Huh, Woodrow? We needed a cause to unite us. A promise that we can serve our country and work for a better future. At least some of us did. Others just needed an excuse. It's always like that. War attracts those type of people like shit attracts flies. At the end of the day, 
The legend turned out to be just a cover for greed and violence and for the madness of Le Major. Well, you know, we're actually making some pretty good progress on setting things right. Not too late to join us, Woodman. It sounds weird, but from what I have been hearing about you, I feel I can trust you. You killed that slaver and murderer, Graf. You have taken care of my dad's friends in Ernie. You achieved something unheard of when you forced that snake Bastien to help people instead of abusing them. And above all, you seem to genuinely care about our country. So, what do you want me to do for you? I mean, technically, that was all done by other guys, but, you know, end of the day, we're all on the same payroll, and Rhett's the guy calling the shots. Could send you home, I suppose, but pretty sure that place is under Adonis management right now. Why don't you tough it out with us for a while, Woodville? And you want to take me with you? Let me become one of you? This is a great honor, and I hope I won't disappoint you, Mercenaire. I guess we'll see. Fall in. Yeah, we'll see. Now let's get you some gear, Woodstock. And I have just one thing to ask. Please don't disappoint me as well. Be honorable to the end. I will certainly try, Woodgrain. Okay, another free recruit. I mean, kind of saw it coming a while ago, but still, always nice. So a blend of heavy and light armor, along with a unique machete, Legion's Pride. Oh, which has reduced AP costs. That's pretty fantastic. A shame we can't get that in the hands of someone like Mouse. Plus an AK-47. Nothing to really write home about there. We'll, we'll swap that out once we find something suitable. It does feel a little weird, though, that they'd... Um, They'd slap heavy armor on someone with a melee weapon, especially a custom melee weapon. Considering cumbersome items essentially cripple your mobility. Also came with a stack of diamonds, always nice. Oof, that's a pretty rough stat spread, though I guess it does make sense, considering this was basically the prologue slash tutorial boss. And man, yeah, you can really see why he bought into the Major's spiel. That's like ret level wisdom there. And then perk-wise, oh yeah, he's definitely set up to be a melee guy. That's um, two strength perks and a health perk. Plus Glory Hog. Machete charge that doesn't require a straight line path and grants 15 grit. Oh, okay. Right, which I guess would kind of explain the heavy armor. Though really, if we are taking him full melee, we probably should downgrade him to at least non-cumbersome. Yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Shiny and Chrome Helmet is heavy, but it is not cumbersome. Though we will definitely grab Hit and Run as his next perk. That's pretty much mandatory for any serious melee guy. We oui. Heading out. We oui. you, you, you killed them! All of them! What will I do now? I was a king among the prisoners, and now... Now I'm going to be just a nobody. Oh, wow. Okay. I really would have figured that Pierre would have some choice words for this guy, but uh, apparently not. Uh, fair enough. All right, KC, uh, we'll let you off the hook this time. Let this be a lesson to you, etc., etc. It's either that or stab you in the throat. Goodbye, then. Have a nice day. 
No one left here. Just that bitter old asshole Pang Lu. He's pretending to help me with the chickens. I'm pretending not to notice when he's stealing eggs. Hand gloom. Goodbye then. Name was highlighted, but I don't think that's someone we've ever Got heard it. of before. Come, we go. Let us get this safari movie. Yeah, yeah, he's right over here near Elliot. Finally, I'm going to see my wife. I just need to find out which mine they sent her to. I'm happy to help. Good luck out there. When I die, I want to be shot out of a cannon. Into a children's birthday party. The sooner they learn life sucks, the better. Charming. Where to? Me and King Chicken. We are just fine here. I pretend to walk for him. He pretends not to see when I steal his eggs. Wow, you two really are made for each other, aren't you? You know why Gonchion can't win any medals at the Olympics? It's because anyone that can run, jump, or swim has already escaped across the border. Well, Pengloom, this has been an experience. Let's let's never do this again. Squad, move out. I'm just a poor boy. I need some sympathy. Don't shoot! I'm an idiot! Prove it! I served a psychotic <laughs> megalomaniac in a Rilko and then went and did the same thing in Grand Chen. Yeah, that checks out. Wow, harsh. Trapped in a cage in Grand Chen. I've never been so free. The constant beatings notwithstanding, I find my life is so much better when someone else controls it. I see a little silhouette of a merc. Don't shoot your height. I mean, your mercenariness. It's just me, Elliot. The Major didn't like it when he learned about, well, everything. That's why I'm here. But I'm better off like this. I didn't mean to kill my friend, I swear. You see, I, I was just a victim of a series of accidents. I'm just a poor boy. I need some sympathy. My goodness, they they recorded like 12 new lines for him just for the fringe case where you happen to let him walk away from Camp to Crocodile. Though, you know, I do, I do kind of wish there was more to it. I don't necessarily hate Elliot. I actually feel kind of bad for the guy. Though I suppose, as he said, he, he did have all this coming. Going to work for two militaristic despots and all. That's it. Let's uh, hit the pause button real quick. I'll get some militia set up. Be right back. And we're back. We've got a full stack of veteran militia on Bien Chan. We've got Charlie and Delta on the move, and making some pretty decent progress. It'll still be a bit before they're ready to join us, though, so in the meantime, we'll have Alpha go ahead and take the rest of Bien Chan Island. Not sure we'll have time for all three sectors today, but we'll, uh, we'll do what we can. And start putting some thought towards where we're headed after. Everything Tia can care of. Oh. I be here. Now what? Charlie getting tired. We'll give them some downtime. We've also got payroll coming up. Also, Charlie. We'll worry about that later. Patrol Ambush, Treacherous Myers, and Shack. Implies an enemy presence. Shack seems like the most likely spot. Minor landmark? Grave plus chair with personal effects. Let's check 
that out first. Affirmative. We. Oui. A wise plan. All right, we're moving out. Got it. Check your weapons. The game. She's a foot. Okay. Envoy. Ambusher. Are those Maquis? You wish me to call like a whipped dog. Oh, more mags. We'll take them. Hide my footfalls. So nothing else of note here. My approach will go unnoticed. I mean, magazines are nice, but I was hoping for some additional context. Old man will sneak up. Ooh. We have a named non-hostile. That must be our context. I will go quietly. If I must. Alright. We'll go ahead and engage from here. We'll just wharf these guys down real quick, then see what Han has for us. Ah! Uh, Our cause is threatened. We must fight. You're killing me, Flay. But yeah, yeah, these guys feel like Maki. It's really puzzling why they'd be overtly hostile. We are technically the new leaders of the Maki. Whereas Han there actually looks like a legionnaire. Be quiet. You be quiet. Now watch how I do this, Woodruff. Very, very strange. It, it honestly feels like they swapped the two factions by accident when setting up this map. Like, Cobra. No! like we should be fighting a small group of legion who have one captive Maquis. If they move, they die. What is your wish? Hmm. Quiet. Silently. Huh? Them, comrades, our cause is just minor ding on Flay. Ah, leg shot. Yes, I'm sure it's fine to get your legs all shot up while standing waist deep in swamp water. Sun easy. Nice. Orders. Target visible. An exemplary kill. Newbie should take notes. Wait, why are we not done? Who's left? Shoot, do we have someone further back out of sight? I understand. I would not have brushed Vicky in if I'd realized. What's the play? You got it. Wait. I am but a dream in a slumbering world. I am but a dream in a slumbering world. 
Fingers crossed. Huh. Okay, taking these guys out might have spawned a new patrol. So it's possible they're working their way Where towards to us from whatever edge they entered on. Yemen. May the spirits hide me from the opposition. We'll just tunker down, prep for incoming. My approach will go unnoticed. I am here. It will be done. Moving. Waiting for orders. Yeah. Keeping them covered, Woody. Oh, okay. We've got Crocs. Yeah. That's it. That explains it. Nothing to worry about at this range. Oui. C'est parti. Where to? Oh, uh, unless they come up on our flank. Okay, that is... That is something to be slightly concerned about. Get shots! This is because my will is strong. All right, let's uh, whittle the guys on flank. We? Oui? I will make this as painful as possible. We need to at least slow them down. Orders. The prey will not see me. They will not know from where the shot comes. This is no good. It will spook the prey. A simple shot. The prey dare not move in front of me. This'll be good. <sighs> this dog just ain't gonna hunt. Taking the shot! There we go. Both slowed down. standing in front of them, hitting the dirt. My approach will go unnoticed. Oui, c'est très facile. Got my undivided I've got a clear shot. Animals. Poor things always get hit hardest in the combat zone. Tarballs here. Hmm. Got a view to a kill here. Position's inattentiveness will be their downfall. Probability of success is high. Quietly. Shh. Won't see a thing. Just trying to get some skill pops.
Just one more deadbeat to go, Woodpecker. Squeezing the trigger. Don't shoot! Don't shoot, boss! I don't want to fight for those fucking flavors! Just don't shoot me, okay? I will keep that in mind. Also, that's mine. Not that we really need it, but we'll take that ammo. I be listening. We. Oui. And we can't talk to him. We are moving out. Really weird. What secrets will be revealed? Why set up this oddly reversed scenario with no real way to interact? Heading out. Maybe tied to some other event we haven't triggered yet. If that is your wish. Don't shoot! Don't shoot, boss! I don't want to fight for those fucking slavers! Just don't shoot me, okay? Hmm. Alright, well. C'est parti. Très bien. Alright. Let's go, people. These guys didn't put up much of a fight, but at least they, uh... The croak ambush Good caught us a little off guard. Let us get this safari moving. Really stacked him up for a second there. Come, we go. D'accord. Allons-y. Oh yeah, see like that. That feels like it's something too. Heading out. Could just be a well, I suppose. In the. Middle of a swamp. Squad, move out. Squad, forward! Or a subterranean access point, again, kind of absurd in a swamp. Sure thing, what are you- Don't shoot, don't shoot, boss! I don't want to fight for those fucking slavers! Just don't shoot me, okay? Man, I do not know what to make of this place. Maybe, um, maybe one of y'all can tell me. Yeah, nothing special as far as operations go. So we'll just push on. Let's move it, people! Evil doers, beware! I am stronger and better than ever! That'll actually put us right across from the eagle's nest. I am a bit torn. Part of me feels like we should really hit the major sooner rather than later. Though the completionist in me wants to finish taking Wassergrab and Ilmorat first. The last two main islands. Oh, wow. And they are not even trying now. Why, why wouldn't these guys be veterans or elites? That is bizarre. Okay, well, um... Let's wipe these guys out and see what else there is to see here. Not much of note popping up on the uh, the overview panel. Enemy presence. You wish me to crawl like a whipped dog? Oh, okay. So we have some slight subtext here. I wonder if that's supposed to be the same prisoners we just released. My approach will go unnoticed. This is how I approach the key. The prey will not see me. Old man will sneak up on them. Huh? And go time. I am on the prowl. The prey is unaware. Nice, nice. Pierre, you traitor! I would kill you for the major! Oh, that's fun. I like the character specific call out. Watch the play! Now watch how I do this, Woodruff. Like a whipped dog. Oof, this is actually slightly awkward. I thought we could push up further through those bushes. That's 
it. Make that your standard from now on. Oh, I am with it! The prey will not... If the wind holds steady, this will work. Yemon, quiet like. And rush. Boo. It be killing time. How damn it? Boo. Stopped? May the spirits hide me from the opposition. May the spirits hide my footfalls. Oh, you guys are killing me. Why must your aim be SQ? I will catch this fool unaware. What was the point in hiding if I cannot get a good shot? If they move, they die. When foreign are supposed to be bad at shooting, the major said we are ten times better. Ow. Hey, there we Get go. Away, Nicely done, Pierre. I be listening. You're not going to take us to the mines, right? You set us free? For free? May the spirits bless you for your kindness. Uh, no problem. Happy to help. So that was not the same guys. Yes. Allons-y. Huh? If that is your wish. D'accord. Wait, that's not one of ours. This is deliberate scenery. Hope there be some good stuff in there. Full set of Kevlar. Nice. Might slap some of that on Pierre. I'll just have to run the numbers. And a cell phone. With intel for the stone stairs. Sector C20. And an M16. Ooh. I mean, I'm not going to lie, not a super impressive gun, but but that might make a viable replacement for the AK-47. Slightly lower damage, but also lower AP cost. Not to mention better ammo diversification, 5.56 five, versus NATO or... Warsaw Pact. Again, I'll have to run the numbers. Squat forward! Yeah, so those guys were just straight up like prologue level parti. tier zero guys. That's that's pretty sad. Got it. That's like the guys we were fighting back on Ernie Island. We oui. Though I imagine at this point, Ernie Island is essentially held by endgame foes. We are moving out. Adonis Elite. Moving. All right. Let's go, people. It will be done. All right, we're moving out. Heading out. We be strolling. Oh, let us get this safari. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Did we find the friendliest crocodile in Grand Chien? Come, we go. Huh. 
Okay, well that is super weird after... After how absurdly aggressive every other animal we've encountered tends to be. Follow me. But uh, I'm not complaining. Nice to see they can Hang actually out. dial it back every once in a while. We shall go. We? Oui? Waiting for orders. Yemon? Yeah, okay, yeah, I guess I guess that's it. A bit of a dud as far as combat goes, but two sectors clear. Affirmative. New recruit acquired. Weirdly non-aggressive native wildlife encountered. Not to mention that intel. Aside from Pierre, that's probably our big get today. We'll hit G19 next time, but... Um, but yeah, C20, that's... Just north of us. That's uh, right across the, the river here. The bottom part of the stairway leading straight up to the eagle's nest. Which is where the Major is holding the president of Grand Tian. Which makes it really tempting to punch right across that river. Oh. Huh. Okay, so I guess the army did upgrade some sectors, specifically the mines. Yeah, I guess... Oh, that is weird. So the army took the areas of tactical import, maybe? The mines, at least. But they did not take that port. Or Camp Grand Chien, obviously. So we do have some upgraded foes out here. Okay, well, um, we are out of time today. So we'll hit the pause button for now. I'll go ahead and uh, take stock of our current situation, figure out our next move. And we will pick up here next time. As we hop to our next island, I'm just not... Not sure which one. See you then. Oh, and special thanks to the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible. Including, but not limited to, Revenant. Eloise, Crow King LOR, Dragon Matrix 7, Dragon Theory V23, Egon Alter, Excelsior, Goat Leave, James Treme, Kazorm, Mark Diemza, and Nathan Welch Jr., Overlord Ferrum, Random Passerby, Robbie B., Thomas Piatkowski, Trip Hop and Skip, and Valenrook. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, if you'd also like to help support the channel, then feel free to push the buttons that do the things. Trust me, it does make a difference. Or you can check out the PayPal, the Patreon, the Nexus GG or the YouTube memberships. Links are in the description. Please don't disappoint me as well. Be honorable to the end.